Geometry number 263, volume 4, a hexagonal prism. Think triangles, think trig. Now, if you want to know how to do a pentagon, pentagonal prism, just watch the video just before this one, which is 362. It's basically the same method. It's almost identical. It's still breaking it into triangles and using trig. It's just the numbers are slightly different. So, for those of you that don't know, an apothem of a regular polygon is any line segment drawn from the center point of a regular polygon perpendicular to one of its sides. Not to a vertex, to a side, because it went to a vertex, it wouldn't be perpendicular, would it? It wouldn't be 90 degrees. They're all congruent to each other, all right? So, what we need to do is we need to do volume equals base times height. Now, we've got six sides, and they all measure six units, okay? That side six, that side six, that side six. And then the height of one of these lateral sides is ten, okay? So these are all equal, so that's six, that's six also, okay? So we've got two bases and six lateral sides, okay? To find the volume, we need to break it into six different triangle uh, triangular prisms and add them together. It's that simple. Well, the formula for a triangular prism is volume equals length times width times height divided by two. So look at this hexagon right here. Imagine that it's our prism and we're going to break it into six different triangles. And see how we have the apothem right there? That's going to help us figure out the area of one of the sides which we need to find the volume. So that's what's going to take the longest. When we get to that, when we get to know the area, we're going to know the volume right away. It's getting to know the area that we have to do our little work here. We find the central point and make a triangle by drawing line segments from the central point of each, uh, from the center point to each vertex, okay? We find, we're going to find the area of the base. So, because this is 360 degrees around, we're going to divide it by six, by the six sides to make the triangles. 360 divided by 6 is 60 degrees, okay? So now look at this drawing. I turn this hexagon into six triangles that all have 60 degrees here, right? But this one I cut in half with the apothem. And because I did that, it created a 30 degree angle and a 30 degree angle. And do you know what you see? You see an opposite side of 3, an unknown adjacent, and an acute angle. So now you know where I'm going. Uh, we bisect that angle with the apothem to make two 30-degree angles. Using one of those angles, we have a right triangle with an acute angle of 30 degrees and an opposite side of 3. We need to find the height of the apothem, okay? So, if you know your tangent ratios, we've got a 30-degree angle here, an unknown adjacent apothem, and we know that our exterior is 3 and why is that? It's because it's half of the six. See? Because we split in half. All right, so I hope you're following me here. So, we have tangent 30 is equal to opposite over adjacent, right? So, 3 over B. 3 over B. If you don't have a scientific calculator, you can go to the back of your book or online and get a trig table, and under the tangent column for 30 degrees, you'll find that decimal point. We're rewriting the equation from this to this, b is equal to 3 over tangent 30, okay? So, 3 is over 0.5774. If you do have a calculator, you put in 3, the division sign, tangent button, and then you put in 30, and you get the same thing. 3 divided by 0.5774 comes out to 5.196, or we'll say 5.2 to round it up, okay? So our apothem is 5.2. Well, now that we've got that, you know the area of a triangle is length times width and cut it in half, right? So we have the 5.2 times 3, which comes out to 15.6. All right, but that would be for a rectangle, right? It would be for two of these triangles, right? That would be the area for one-sixth of the base, this 15.6. If we had cut it in half, then we would get the 12th, right? 
because this is still 15.6, it's this whole area, see? So we're not going to cut it in half because we want this whole area. Imagine that this triangle here was flipped upside down right here, and that helped us get our length times width, see? So we're going to keep it at 15.6, and that's going to give us the whole triangle, and remember we need to multiply it by 6. So, using the triangular prism volume formula of V equals length times width times height divided by 2, we get the apothem of 5.2 times the 6, which is this, times the height of 10, okay, divided by 2. Well, the apothem times this side length is 31.2. We multiply that by 10, and we get 312. Now that we've got the 312, we did all this multiplication, we need to divide it by 2. 312 divided by 2, 300 divided in half is 150, 12 divided in half is 6, so it's 156. We're going to multiply this by the 6 triangles. So we know the area of one of these, the volume, I should say, of one of these triangles, of the volume of just one little triangle in here of the 6, is 156. Now we need to multiply it by the 6 triangles, okay? and it comes out to 936. So, the volume of our hexagonal prism is 936 cubic units. If the units are centimeters, then it's 936 cubic centimeters. Because remember, we're filling it with little cubes. So, remember, breaking a polygon into triangles helps. You could do this with anyone. You can do it with the pentagon, you can do it with an octagon, you can do it with a decagon. You can do it with anything. This way, by breaking it into the triangles, all you have to do is multiply it by that many triangles. Just remember, to, once you do this, to not divide that by 2 because it gave you the full triangle, didn't it? And remember that you don't need a scientific calculator because you can go online for a tangent table. I mean a trig table, I'm sorry. Or you can look in the back of your book. So, that is how you find the volume of a prism. I hope I was able to help. Keep up the good work, keep plugging, and I'll see you next video. Bye!